Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here doing uh, your daily reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay, just take what does resonate Cancer and toss out the rest. Don't try to force anything into your world, okay? And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations the love, right? Thank you for the love. I love you guys right back. You're my you're my family, my peeps. All right, so Cancer. I think we've got enough to get started on, right? Um I, the oracles that I got here is telling me that um there's a masculine energy. It says oath here. I feel like this person is taking an oath. Uh they're coming towards you. They want you. They're building up the strength here now. I feel like they're, you know, I'm getting this weird, bizarre feeling from these cards that this person's been kind of haunted. I don't know if there's, it's almost like there's spirit guides just kind of like moving around them, maybe um, in their house here. Do you see how this owl is peering out the, the hole in the tree like they're afraid? Um, I've got these little creatures here. I mean, you can see them, right? I've got these little stick creatures here, over here, this one here. Um, and then I've got a ghostly figure in this card um, in reverse. I, I really feel like your spirit guides, or maybe it's theirs, ancestors, um, something is haunting this person. Like, it's creepy. I feel like they're kind of creeped out by it. Look, they're, they're sleeping with the lights on, Cancer. <laughs> they're sleeping with the lights on, okay? Oh, man, they're showing me images of Scooby-Doo, like the Scooby-Doo movies. This person is creeped out. Um, I feel like they're, they're taking an oath, right? Maybe they're talking to these ghosties. Okay, fine. I'm going to get moving. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. And I didn't get that feeling when I first pulled out these cards. So it's really kind of interesting looking at these little critters in the tree. They're just creepers. Creepers. And I feel like this person's being told you better get a move on to uh, beauty, right, before the last petal falls. They're giving this person a warning. That's how they're they're feeling about it. Uh, yeah, this person's like creeped out. Sometimes they don't even stay at their house. And if they do, they're sleeping with their lights on. That's really the feeling that I'm getting here. Belonging here. House of night. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit creepy, I gotta say. I think these are your spirit guides or ancestors. Yeah, they're watching you. I feel like this person spends long nights watching what you're doing. Maybe online. They could even be like looking up karma and ancestors and hauntings and, you know, um, doing their work on this. Because I feel like this person is, uh, they're, they're freaked out. And I feel like... Um, Yeah, I feel like you booted this you've booted this energy out. You're you've blocked this person off. You've cut them out. I'm getting the feeling like they're wondering if you said something to them, Cancer. But I don't think you did. You've been paying attention to you. Yeah, you you haven't done anything. You're completely innocent in this. There we have it. You are innocent in this. It wasn't you. This person's scared. They're they're praying. They're looking into this. Sometimes they don't even they don't even stay at home. I feel like they're blocked. And I feel like since since you um detached from this person, I, I really feel like it's not really affecting you, okay? I'm getting the feeling like um you not having anything to do with what's going on in their life, completely blindfolded, and, and you've been trapped in your mind about it. Only, look, you're blindfolded here, you're blindfolded here. Cancer, you had nothing to do with this. This is my card for innocence. I say that all the time. 
innocent. Yeah, you've had your boundaries up, and I feel like you're protected from this, but this person, they could be drinking a lot, all right? I just feel like this fear off of this person, and it could be because they've been playing games with you. I feel like they sat here, um, they got you to fall in love with them like a lot of other people, put you on a shelf, hid behind this plastic shower curtain, right? Um, smiling, all kinds of smug. Um, they're not smug anymore. I really feel like this is a fear, is really what I'm picking up on here. If they do go to sleep, they're sleeping with the lights on and they're praying. No way am I kidding here. And sometimes they don't... Look! Oh my God. I cannot make it up. Look at this. If they do turn off the lights, Cancer, this person is crying. I feel like this person's being haunted. I really do. It's giving me the creepy vibes here, guys. And you, you have... Um, blocked your energy from this person so this is having no effect on you and they know that this is it's all due to what they did to you how they've treated you the fact that they didn't make it right um yeah this person's being haunted at night to the point where they don't want to sleep with the lights off they're having nightmares yes Yes, that is the truth. This is making them get clarity, okay? It's making them get some clarity. I feel like they're doing a lot of crying, a lot of thinking. They're high anxiety, but it's. I feel like it's a fear. They're afraid. Um, so they're like telling these ghosties or whatever this is haunting them, Fine, I, I am taking an oath to go towards cancer then, right? Yeah, they may have thought that you were, the, you were to blame for this, but you haven't done anything to this person. You haven't, and as a matter of fact, you haven't been even part of their life. Um, and you're detaching from, yeah, they're thinking that, um, they're thinking that you did this to them. Maybe, uh, to get them back for how they betrayed you. But really, with the Six of Cups out here and Strength, you're innocent. You didn't do anything. This person spends a lot of time at work. Um, and things may not be going well at work either. They may even be haunted at their job, to be honest with you. This could be somebody that, um, I don't know, maybe you guys have worked together. Yeah, man. I feel like they, they've opened up some kind of Pandora's box or something. I hope there wasn't, they could end up losing their job. This is them suffering karma. What am I holding? I'm not even holding the deck upside down. This is somebody who's scared. You guys know I always see this person as somebody who is afraid, curled up in a little ball trying to protect themselves because they are under severe judgment. And I feel like the ancestors have been released, okay? They've been released for their player ways, hiding how they feel to an earth angel. I'm telling you all this toxicity towards an earth angel. <laughs> I cannot make it up. Yeah, juggling you, um, being pouty, victim mentality maybe, d trashing you, walking away for, uh, for all of this, uh, holding back how they feel, Playing you, using you, right? Being wishy-washy, keeping you stuck in your head. Walking away from you. Being nasty when they did it, okay? Um, they, they could have said something very harsh and cold. Um, yeah, juggling you with somebody else in a toxic situation. Missing their, taking this blessing in love and sniveling at it. Turning their nose up at it. 
this is what they're getting for all of the things that they did to you cancer in this toxic situation because you're an earth angel this person's being haunted i feel like they're being haunted i have to put it out there guys and you know when the cards came out i really didn't pick up on that it wasn't until the reading started cancer yeah they could have had this wish fulfillment with you they could have had love with you they could have had a victory with you but they stabbed you in the back instead and you're their twin flame soulmate connection and you guys were supposed to come together that's what this is guys they are being shown by the divine you are under a contract to do the right thing by this divine feminine i feel like you're a divine feminine here i'm talking to a divine feminine cancer right yeah that's what this person's being told you are under a con you're under a contract you need to close out this cycle properly and do the right thing right after all that you did to this person you screwed over a, a, an earth angel here like you betrayed and backstabbed a very loving, innocent earth angel. You're not allowed to do that. I feel like, I feel like, honestly, this person's being haunted. I know I've said it like 30 times in this reading, but it is really creepy. I mean, take a look at these cards. Look at the creepy creepers in the tree, man. And that ghostly figure. yeah they're being told uh, yeah because you know what you gave this person nothing but love i'm telling you cancer as soon as you um took your energy back detached and started moving forward you had a victory and this person started being haunted by creepers and i feel like it's either their ancestors or your ancestors but they are literally being told um that they needed to do the right thing that's what this person is being told and it's to the point where they can't sleep they they can't sleep well they can't sleep they can't eat they can't sleep they're stressed out they're scared they're crying because they're being the the crap's getting scared right out of them cancer i'm telling you um yeah, and they can't sleep with the lights off. They have to have the lights on. You know, look. Here they are resting. Lights are on. And they're praying. Please don't let me be haunted. Yeah. They're still attached to toxic energy here, it looks like. And they, you know what? It Even if it's not being haunted by ghosts and spirits right and ancestors it it could be this person um because i'm not sensing any spell work here at all um it could just be this person you know haunted by their own conscience but honestly that's not what i'm seeing here that is not what i'm seeing here yeah cancer Ooh, I'm going to be cleansing my energy after this one, Cancer. Um, and you probably should too. Um, but yeah, this person, what action are they going to take? What are they going to do? I see you moving forward. You're protecting your love. It didn't stop you. You know, whatever they this person did to you, Cancer, it, did, it, it didn't take that beautiful loving energy away from you, right? It, it you know you still have that and that's that's the that's the best love in the whole entire deck um yeah but you're just moving forward you've been through it because of this person they did just about every, anything they could to screw this up and i feel like that the divine's telling them you get in there and you you make it right you know they could be encouraged by other people around them, too, to do the same thing. Yeah, that's their justice. 
I feel like this person really does want to come forward and make it right, though. But um, I'm I'm feeling like, yeah, it's it's almost like. Um, It feels to me like they're very mentally conflicted, you know, coming towards you after doing all of this wasn't something that they really wanted, they didn't want to confront, okay, but I feel like they're very passionate about this now because it's the, this to me, it kind of represents a chance, I've got a chance to fix this and get rid of this karma, right? And this is them really, what this is them being antsy, wanting to do something about it, you know, um, that's really the feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, because they want this stopped. They want it stopped. This is somebody do, who wants to do whatever they can to stop uh, this energy here. It, I feel like it's in their home. I feel like this is your spiritual team kicking this person's butt and scaring the, the BS out of them. I'm telling you. That's the feeling that I'm getting because this is like, I'm feeling my heart. You know, this is somebody like, I've got to make this stop. I can't do this. I can't, like, like they're scared. They, you know, that's the feeling I'm getting off this card. This is being defensive and guarded, you know, defending yourself. That's kind of how this person feels. Like they have to fight this off, ward this off somehow. Somehow, right? And I feel like they, they, uh, they're just passionate about warding off whatever this is. Because they're scared. I'm telling you. Because they're scared. They're feeling all kinds of beat up. This has been going on with this person for a while. When did we start, when did I start picking up in my readings? Remember guys, where you're, where you're, um, you know, who let the dogs out, right? The the dogs that are in that one car or one deck. Um, your spiritual team is out there kicking butt, you know? Remember that? That was like, what, a month ago. This person's been going through it for a while. They're scared. They're, they're like hugging this wand here, right? I feel like this person is freaked out. They're being haunted, and I feel like it's by your ancestors, okay? But you didn't send anybody over there. You just disconnected. And your your ancestral team, your spiritual team, they went in and kicked butt for you. And they've been putting this person through it. They haven't been able to eat, sleep, sleep with the lights off for a long time. And they're really feeling beat down by it now. Like, this is somebody who literally can barely take it anymore. It's either their conscience or your spiritual team or both. Okay? But the divine is kicking this person's tail. I'm telling you. All right, give me one more for cancer. Yeah. They got to sleep with the lights on. And that's if they sleep at all, Cancer. All right. One more for Cancer. I feel like this person, they want this new beginning, but it's almost like they, it, it's its because they go home and it feels like this in their home. You, they've got, spear, a, your spiritual team is all over the place in their house. Okay? Like they've got every light on in the place. All right? And this is how they feel every day, having to ward off this stuff. Panicky, scared. Look at the look on their face. Uh, the heart is beating really fast, guys. Yeah, they're going to be approaching you here because they want all this, you know, to come to an end. I'm telling you. You know, this person could have... Oh, they, see, I'm telling you, they, I think they think you did it. I really do. I, they, I feel like they think you did it or they just know that you're an earth angel and this is what happens when you, when you mess over an earth angel. 
they, I feel like they, they need to make it right here um, to get this to stop because they can't keep fighting off the ancestors and the spiritual team anymore. So they're literally coming towards you just to make this stop. To make this stop. This person's reaching out. They were that stubborn. I guess your spiritual team just figured they needed to go in and haunt this person um, to the point where they couldn't take it anymore, so they have to come in and make it right. That's what I'm getting here for somebody. This is not going to be for all of you, okay? It's not. I, I really feel like this is... I don't know for how many it is, because I know how many of those spiritual butt-kicking readings that I did and that I, I did a lot of them and I think that's how long this has been going on okay anyway you could be dealing with a Sagittarius but I feel like this is your energy and this person realizes you're an earth angel um, you could be dealing with a Leo um, any fire sign Leo Aries Sagittarius okay Virgo Scorpio um, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn. Yeah, Cancer. Oh my gosh, this, I got to say it though, this poor person. Because seriously, it's day after day trying to fight off your spiritual team or it could even be theirs i don't know they they're pretty sure it's connected to you and 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 what they did to you this is their karma for what they did to you okay but you didn't have anything to do with this okay you didn't but they know that if they make it right with you this will come to an end so this person's coming in cancer get ready because they literally have to do something, okay? <laughs> All right? Um, anyway, guys, I am going to take this over to the extended. I honestly don't know what deck to use yet, but I want to get. I want to see if I can pull more on this haunting, okay? Or whatever this is. Um, yeah, see if it's your spiritual team or their spiritual team. Like, what is going on? All I know is they've got the lights on in their house 24-7, and sometimes they don't even go home. Anyway, Cancers, um, I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but I do hope this helps, okay? Um, and if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Um, if you like this vibe and it's resonating with you, I'm really sorry. These readings aren't usually this creepy, okay? They really aren't. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm getting, Cancer. Anyway, I love you, Cancers. Until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.